Storms are fascinating. The power and beauty that Mother Nature is capable of is often overwhelming when you really take in what's happening in front of you. However, the same thing that's a fascination for some is a terror for others. The people of Greensburg, Kansas understand terror like no other. On the night of May 4, 2007, the town was effectively wiped off the map by the first EF5 rated tornado. 95% of the town was lost as the tornado's width was wider than the town itself. 11 residents lost their lives and dozens more were injured. It's been 15 years since, and the town has gotten back on its feet with new structures lining downtown and new homes throughout. But the reminders are still present. Sites like this are necessary for chasers. A reminder that respect for Mother Nature is a must. After a couple lackluster days in Nebraska and Kansas, the morning of June 6th presented us with a difficult choice. The prior day, after originally positioning in northwestern Kansas, we took a gamble on a great parameter space two hours to the south. Unfortunately, storm tops to the west in Colorado limited storm development until the evening low-level jet kicked in, ramping up storms in the dark and forcing organized storms to go upscale quickly, ending the chase. Starting the morning in Dodge City, High-resolution atmospheric models were dead set on long-tracked supercells in northern Nebraska. The problem was, we were six hours away from where we needed to be. There was a less obvious setup closer to Dodge, but after looking at surface observations, it was clear we needed to pack up quickly and steam north to the Nebraskan Sandhills. Can we please go? I'm about to get out of the car. I mean, you can just stretch your legs or what something. The There's probably not a rush. Where is the car? Come on. That's right there. The store's right there. <sighs> that guy looks familiar, according to Reed. Go. Good one. Pilot car, follow me. We need to get going.
while stuck behind yet another road construction stop in the town of Broken Bow, Nebraska, we evaluated our road options as the supercell gained ground on us. The southeast running road we were on would have us constantly in the path of the storm, while a southern option would draw us further away, but would ultimately allow us to gain ground on the storm. However, in an attempt to get back in on the action, we miscalculated how much time we had to head east to get to our southern road option before we'd encounter the storm's rear flank downdraft, one of the most dangerous parts of the storm. Mother Nature was quick to humble us. Oh yeah, that's hard. After our close call with the storm's RFD near the town of Sumner, we finally got to the southern road that we were trying to reach. We stair-stepped once again to Overton, when the storm would then go tornado warned. Unfortunately, while in the pursuit of the storm, we realized that our trusty vehicle was in need of mending. It's, it's moving up and down. It is? Yeah. 
slow down. Turn around. Yeah. Green. Actually, we might be fine right here. Hold. Yep. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna go that way a little bit more into the grass. Hold on. I need to check the toolie. We'll stay right here. Actually, turn around. Let's get out of the RFD. Here. Though the storm had left us behind by the time we fixed the roof carrier, it turns out that letting the storm pass us gave us the best view we'd seen all day. Alright, let's go. North Platte or Kearney? Well, we can go to the Applebee's and Kearney first, then we'll figure out the hotel from there. After dinner at the number one post storm chase establishment, we called it a night and headed for our hotel in Kearney, Nebraska, when it was clear that the day wasn't over yet. Another storm upstream was barreling towards town. Given the storm earlier in the day had reports of baseball-sized hail, we headed to the nearest gas station awning to watch the show. Morning in Kearney greeted us with an enhanced risk from the Storm Prediction Center right over our heads. A quick drive to the west over to the Colorado-Nebraska border meant that we'd be in perfect position for storm initiation later that afternoon.
got to go. It's at this moment when the town of Imperial, Nebraska was taking a beating from three-inch hail, causing damage to cars, homes, and businesses. Leave it to the Kansas skies to signal us that our time in the Great Plains for 2022 had come to a close. Red at night, a chaser's delight. By the end of the trip, we had traveled over 10,000 miles across 16 states. There were highs and there were lows, but there's no better way to experience Mother Nature's power from the sky. Though we didn't have a photogenic tornado to witness like we had in the year prior, that was never our goal of the trip. We chase storms, not tornadoes. Of course, tornadoes are the cherry on top, but whether it's an elevated storm in South Dakota or a low precipitation supercell in New Mexico, there's never one such way to hunt a storm.